Both teams looking to stamp their authority in this one early. And it ends up being a turnover. Eltham looking to find a first score through the hands of Taylor Wynn, and they calm it down now as pass comes in to Pizzi, kicked out to Forsyth, tries to land a triple to get us underway. Two of two across their last four matches. Two and two, I should say, as we see Diamond Valley come look for a score inside the paint. They do exactly that just inside the free throw line as Andriolo. And uh, what a game that was. Diamond Valley had to fight themselves uh, to get back into the game, and they lost Bannon early with a as Byrne knocks that one down. Nine seconds in this first quarter. Mainly might have to get creative here. Steps inside defenders, felt pressure. But she eats pressure for breakfast. She'll head to the line for one extra. So Rin Tyler will be wondering why she didn't receive it. But nonetheless, 40 seconds to play here. Taylor Wynn has it, can kick it around to Munro. Here's the shooter, feet set. Looks a little long. Can she rattle it home? How it all shakes out tonight in aid of winning that cup, which from memory, Diamond Valley just snuck in the win earlier in the season, despite it being split. Oh, as we see a massive three from Jay Dunn, and she is having one tonight. Compton coming in, Maley, unable to get those uh, finishes at the hoop. Pizzi pulls up from three. She can shoot it from out there. Nothing but cotton for Beck Pizzi. Tice. Somehow he pulled away. He said he did 10 hours of research in total to work it out, which doesn't surprise me. Here's Forsyth, turns and shoots, and some of this shooting we're seeing for the mid-range has been very impressive. Come back into this game as Maley gets it back from Wynn. Wins in the corner, skip pass from Maley. Taylor will win with the three ball. Very nice. Ten seconds now on the shot clock. Time to get creative. Pulls up, considered it from the free throw line into her now. She has the double team to work with. Steps away. That's a beautiful fader. How she does it, I will never know. Munro to Amato. Pizzi inside. Great Ooh, action. Be foul. That'll be an extra. Gonna have to start happening right now. Here's to Sari. WNBL experience. Pizzi sets a hard show and then retreats back to her position and then steps up for Tassari who drills the three. That's exactly what she needed to do. But that is how it is looking right now because Diamond Valley have all the momentum. They need to claw back an extra four points. Five to take the lead. Cara Tassari has been unbelievable. We've got to focus on this game. I need to stop getting myself ahead yeah, to the next one. Distracted, Tommy. A massive final couple of minutes here. That's a wonderful pass from Beck Pizzi. Points of difference here. 49 seconds remaining. Diamond Valley, they'll need to come up with a triple or something, but that's not going to be enough. Rintala, I think it's all rudimentary from here, unless I'm gone early. Look, time will expire here. The Eltham fans rise to their feet in celebration of surely a final spot here. An historic moment for the Eltham Wildcats women in the season, which has been a roller coaster.